Hello everyone, this video I want to talk about uh, a new crossbow that I got called a Lighting Harp Crossbow. Uh, this is now my favorite crossbow after Butterfly. Uh, you can get this crossbow uh, from a Soggy Swamp uh, or a High Book Holes or from the Blacksmith. These are confirmed locations uh, based on information uh, which is currently available on the web. So let's take a look at some of the statistics of this web, uh, this crossbow, sorry. So as you can see, uh, it is uh, 1001 damage, uh, and because this has uh, multiple projectiles, it shoots three instead of one. Uh, this is automatic one, you just hold and it shoots automatically, and it has beaten perk for chance to ricochet. So when it is an enemy, it can just bounce and hit another enemy. Uh, now the, the enchantments is something that is unrandom. Uh, I got a uh, multi shot, which allows me to have a forty percent chance to shoot uh, five arrows instead of three, which is great. Uh, power to increase the damage. I still haven't upgraded fully, and I still need to choose between uh, uh, infinity here and chain reaction. Chain reaction is really fun. Uh, infinity just uh, you know I can save you lot of lots of ammo because it's a chance to immediately replenish an arrow after shooting many people recommend me to choose this one I haven't decided just yet but what this makes this one great is that it's both high power as a high damage a high DPS uh, crossbow and it shoots very very fast so by the way when you compare it to the uh, butterfly uh, the butterfly uh, is uh, slightly faster, but just slightly, has more ammo, much more. Uh, and in terms of power, uh, it's less, much less uh, uh, powerful. Uh, so this is why um, I'm trying out the lighting arp crossbow and finding it to be even better. Uh, just keep in mind that the butterfly crossbow uh, can shoot two enemies at once, which is really great as well. Alright, so let's take a look at some gameplay and see how it plays. Now the first one that I'm showing you is the butterfly, and as you can see the chain reaction. This is one I'm actually thinking about using, but I'm not 100% sure. As you can see the chain reaction will choose an enemy, just project 5 projectile uh, to all directions, which is really good. So this is why the butterfly felt so great, because just chaos on the screen. And of course this means extra damage for enemies nearby. Now let's take a look at the harp. Uh, this is without the, um, the chain reaction upgrade, just keep in mind I haven't upgraded just yet. As you can see it should 3 or 5, uh, it depends, it's the RNG, but many times you can see it actually shoots 5, which is great. And this means lots of arrows shooting uh, and eating enemies uh, and high damage, uh, each arrow is high damage, as you can see. Now this is great for me for dealing with many enemies and especially exploders. Now when I compare it to the butterfly, I would, uh, uh, the option to be more powerful and eliminating the enemies even fast, faster before they even come close to me. And uh, this is a big difference compared to the butterfly and the harp. Now of course what you see here is not uh, like always ideal and I'm just uh, using it to demonstrate so you can see actually how it plays in practice. The only thing that uh, you know I like about the butterfly is sometimes there's an enemy that comes from the side, so the butterf butterfly can actually take him down uh, before they get close to you. But with this one, you need to stop, uh, eliminate the enemy, and then continue shooting. Of course, when you need to go melee, you just go melee. So definitely, the combination of both uh, high damage, high DPS, and speed is uh, the best thing for me in this game. Uh, we need to deal with many enemies. Uh, and just you know taking them one by one you know, it's not either way I don't like the other arrows because I don't like shooting one by one although they can do lots of damage uh, in single target you see we are dealing with many enemies at once so the best thing to do is just use uh, a weapon uh, and a, a bow that can deal uh, damage to many enemies and you know, the higher the DPS uh, the better Yes, overall it's a fantastic weapon, uh, I'm going to keep using it, uh, maybe I'm going to switch between the butterfly and this one, depending on the situation. Uh, and uh, if you have a recommendation which one of the last enchantment to use, let me know. Uh, and I'm sure more videos on more cool weapons and Minecraft dungeons, I hope you like it. Consider subscribing and liking if you enjoy my content, 
and I see you soon on the next video. Bye everyone. Cheers.